controversial. Like when you get people that are like super sensitive about shit like that, I was just like, come on, man, what's the point in even talking? I have never left a place, even though I've had a bad experience with it, and I don't think it's time. I don't think no place is worth going home and writing a letter. I went to a restaurant last week that was fucking horrible. I, you know whose fault it was? Mine. Because yeah, I didn't go to my fucking though, usual want. I think shit like Yelp, if you've had some bad situations and, you know, you can go yeah, to shit yeah, like Yelp and you look and there's like one store. star. How many times did you go to a comedy store and you walked in the back to get your check and they gave you and handed you a letter? And you're like, what's this? And there's a letter a fan wrote that you insulted somebody who you said the word cunt or <laughs> cocksucker. If you're going to go home and write a letter because I said something, honest to God, I don't think you have a fucking life. I have bad experiences a lot of times. I went to Home Buffet in Burbank Ow. two weeks ago. Well, this is that the day. Is Why the would you go there? That, again, I was starving. I was starving. Applebee's was packed. I went shopping in that mall there. Mm -hmm. And I go, how bad is hometown buffet? I oh, can get a awful. salad. Worst thing, I can get a salad. If right. you can't get a fucking salad somewhere. Right. Brian, when I tell you the salad dressings, mm. the salad was brown. Okay, yeah. but why wouldn't you be able to, why shouldn't you be able to talk about this on a, a Yelp ad? Like, this, why wouldn't you make a little Yelp It was Yelp my fault for fucking Yelp. going there. No, it's not. I'm an adult. I'm a fucking adult. I know better. No. This is what I say to people. This is why when people come up to me, especially people who live in California, especially you two fucking momos, when you what? come up to me and tell me you went to see a movie and it sucked, I want to stab you. What because you see behind ass. the curtain. I, you see behind, Wait, I see behind yeah, the curtain. Sometimes you just, just want to go to the movies. Yeah, and didn't you just watch that movie the other day that Which was one? awful? The, Which one? What, was the one we were just talking about at the beginning of the podcast. You, you watched uh, Riley or. The, what? The, the movie he said he was watching at the beginning of the podcast. You watched a movie the other day and it was awful. I don't remember this yeah, at yeah, all. Yeah, I did say that, but I didn't watch the whole movie. movie. I turned it <laughs> oh, the, the island of um, Dr. Moreau with no, Denzel no, no, Washington. No, 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 yeah, yeah. no. Book of Eli. Book of Eli. Yeah, yeah, so, I turned so, it off right. for 15 minutes, yeah, I told but you I you didn't get my fucking car and drive to fucking Malibu. No, I would never take somebody else's opinion. Listen, if you went to see that, if you went to see that fucking movie with Angelina Jolie and that other fucking Momo who I love, Donnie Brasco, you're a fucking idiot. If you left there and said that wasn't what I thought it was, you should be shot, hung, and thrown <laughs> under the jail and then fucked in the ass by a bunch of runaway fucking slaves because you're a fucking idiot. You're going to go Wait see minute. Donnie Brasco or the gold team. Where do they have slaves? Huh? Where they have slaves? Anywhere. There's slaves around. They're in Houston. They got those little <laughs> Chinese women they bring and they suck your dick and they got to pay money to get their uncle out of fucking... Uh, Whatever, immigration status and some shit. You never seen that on fucking CSNBC? Oh, the drifters. Yeah. No. The, the drifter the girls. In Houston, you have, uh, what's that called? Uh, 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 human trafficking. Yeah. Human trafficking is very big in Houston. Very big in a couple other And so places. you think they should get fucked by human traffickers if they what? If what movie they do, they like? Any movie that you go see and you want. Like, I read a Twitter the other day. I went to see Tron. It was horrible. What would make you go see that fucking movie? I saw Tron. I mean, it was terrible. He liked it. He liked it. I didn't yes. think it was that bad. It was kind of interesting. Why would you go see that movie? For the 3D. What? 3D? The whole concept to me was fascinating. If you got really baked, Joey, and you saw a 3D movie, no, it I might be awesome. It would be like... I don't... It's not for me. It might be for you. You I like Pink Floyd The Wall. The only thing that was really whack... I didn't like Pink Floyd The Wall, the movie. <clears throat> I like Pink Floyd The Wall, the live thing. That you yeah. have to wear 3D glasses. <laughs> Did you see Tron, Brian? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm i waiting for the madness to die down a little before I, I do it. Go see half of those shit movies. And people realize that... Like, 3D's the shit. Why would I yeah, go see I that? Why would I... What the fuck is wrong? It's fun, man. Listen, dude, it's just like watching a goddamn comic book to me. I like comic books. I liked them when I was a kid. I love and I comic like a books. comic book movie. And oh, that's I what.